Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Karen and I have been living the keto lifestyle for over a year and a half now. So if you've been watching my channel, right now I am trying to do a daily vlog every day, which hasn't really been that much keto information in there. It's more just how my family's dealing with this whole coronavirus self-quarantine and of course I throw in like what I'm eating during the day so it is keto but it's more life so I want to I'm losing some subscribers because I see people that are really just into keto are kind of dropping off so I want to throw in some reviews so this is a product review I got this scale probably five six months ago and it's been sitting in my bar area I never opened it so I'm gonna open it today my old scale was kind of acting wacky, wasn't working good. So I haven't been using it. I have no idea how much I weigh. If I had to guess, I would think around 160. I started this whole journey around like 170. So I'm still down 10 pounds overall. I did get down to 148, but that was way too thin for me. I didn't like the way I looked. I love the way I felt, just didn't like the way I looked. So my happy weight is probably 150. So around another 10 pounds, but it really all has to do with muscle muscle mass, body fat. So that's why I want to get this scale set up. I always had a goal of getting my body fat down to like 25%. I don't know if that's ever going to happen with me, but that's what I'm going to I'm going to strive for. I want something during this whole quarantine, like some kind of goal, and I think I'm going to do that. 25% body fat. I don't care about my weight. I really want to see if I can get my body fat down. So we're going to try to hook this thing up. I just opened the box. I'm sitting here in in bed. And this is what it looks like. We're gonna take it out and get started. There's an app that goes with it, so I'm gonna download the app and I'll let you guys know what I think. So I'm following the instructions. <coughs> it basically says, <coughs> sorry, a little sort of coronavirus, oh. Take out this little tab underneath. Pull that thing out. It has these carpet foot pieces like to put on the bottom. I'm not gonna be using this on a carpet. I can't see any scale being very accurate on a carpet, so I'm not even gonna put these things on, I don't think. It doesn't need them unless it's on a carpet. Oh, so it's starting up. And then it says go to the website and get the app, since I'm using my phone to record right now. Even though I did get a new camera for Christmas, which I haven't really even used in a video yet, because I haven't figured out how, I like editing on my iPhone. I have an app on my phone that I just do my videos and edit right on the phone so I can do edit anywhere, like while I'm with the kids, outside, anywhere. If I take video with the camera, I have to put it on my MacBook and edit through that. And the software that I use to edit on the MacBook is a little more complicated than the software that I have on my iPhone. So that's why I haven't used my camera yet. I do plan on busting it out soon and trying it because it's supposed to be really good. All right, so Withings HealthMate app. That's the one I'm gonna download right there get that <clears throat> I'm gonna put it on my phone too obviously when I'm done my cat is going crazy with the wrappers behind me right now it's all that noise you hear so the app just loaded it's saying health mate would like to use Bluetooth okay and we have to sign up choose the product you'd like to set up we're gonna do scales what is the name of the scale there's a few different scales, so let's see what this one is called. Uh, body composition. Hmm. Body plus. Body plus. Install. Turn on your scale. Press the button for three seconds. It's like the buttons on the bottom. Three seconds. One, two, three. Next. I think it's probably just pairing. So we're in the middle of like coronavirus outbreak right now in New York. We're self quarantining the best we can. I'm letting the kids have two friends over their brother and sister. They live right on our block and it's the only two that we've been playing with and they play outside. 
and they try to keep their distance. So that's really the best I can do. I can't not let them play at all. So I figured as long as we limit exposure and stay with the same two friends, hopefully that's doing enough because I can't picture staying inside without letting the children play with any friends for all this time. So that's what I decided and that's what we've been doing. And hopefully we all stay safe. This is taking forever. I'm on my old iPad, so I might have to pause you guys. So I just had to turn my Bluetooth on and off. I haven't used this in a while. <clears throat> and now it says it's detected. Pair your scale to your phone. Not my phone, it's my iPad, but let's do it. Pair. Connected. All right, so now we just gotta put in an email address and create an account here. So I made a username <clears throat> and password, and now we're connecting to Wi-Fi. Personalize your scale. Which data do you want to see on your device? <clears throat> so weight trend, yes. Fat mass, yes. Body water, sure. <clears throat> weather, you can see the weather on the scale? Okay, weather. Bone mass, sure. Muscle mass, I wanna see everything. Steps, hmm. Looks like you don't have any step data. Forget about steps. Configuring. Let's take a look at how you can make the most of your scale. So now it's gonna give us a little tutorial. Set a weight goal. Next, what's my target weight? We're gonna say 150, drag the bubble down, 150. Next, come on, next. At which pace would you like to reach your goal? We'll say two pounds a week. Two pounds a week. What are you doing, Liam? Okay. Your goal weight, 150. Next. Okay, we're gonna step on the scale. It's telling me to step on the scale. One fifty nine. I was pretty close. I figured one sixty. Now it's measuring everything right now. It's actually blinking on my iPad as well, but I don't want to pick it up because then I'll weigh more. And the weather is rainy. What am I going to do in the rain today? Muscle ninety seven point eight pounds. BMI. Okay, I think it's done. This thing was blinking the whole time telling me what it was measuring. I'm going to go to next. Wait, I just tried it out. Now it says let's try it out. Click back here a few minutes to see your measurements. Done. Oh, okay. It recorded. Today, 159. It's in there. This is pretty cool. Uh, Jamesy, you done? I think my son is out of the shower. All right, we're gonna continue this in a second. So all in all, the scale was so simple to set up. It was very user-friendly. I do like the way it gives you graphs. So my body weight was 159, which I figured it was right around there. Um, a little concerned about the body fat it says 35.1. My other scale, I was always, what, like the highest I ever was was 30. So I've never been 35% body fat. I mean, it could be. I haven't been working out. I haven't been lifting weights. Maybe. But that seems a little off to me. But as long as it's consistent. Now my goal is a little harder. I have a goal of getting down to 25% body fat. So now I got 10% to go. I thought it was only going to be 5. So it's a little harder. Um, muscle mass. Bone mass, I mean, it gives you a lot of information. Body water, see if you're hydrated, BMI. It even tells you the weather when you step on the scale. So I think it's a pretty cool scale. It's very user-friendly. I'm gonna try to add in Jimmy and see how it works. Like the other scale, it was always hard to switch between the two users. So it'll be nice if it's simple and it automatically just downloads your information. So I'm gonna fill you in on that after I use it a little bit and I will 
finish making this video. Okay, so I messed around with the scale a little bit. All you have to do is make like a few different users in your app. And if you put their weight and height, when they step on the scale, it automatically figures out that it's them from the weight that you entered in. So it's pretty cool. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to change users. My other scale, I always had trouble changing users and sometimes it would get screwed up. Jimmy's weight would go into mine. It was all a mess. This is really simple. You really do nothing. You just step on the scale and it goes right to your app and it keeps graphs and everything and it can sync with different apps like MyFitnessPal. I think it said RunKeeper, I'm not sure. Um, Google Health, Fitbit, and they have lots of different products that you can buy, like watches and stuff if you wanna do like heart rate monitors, stuff like that. It looks like it's really good. So I definitely recommend the scale. It is a little pricey. Uh, it was $74 on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description down below if you wanna click on that and buy it from Amazon. But I think I'm gonna like this scale. I needed a new scale. I had my old one for like 10 years. So it was about time. So I'm gonna get myself down to 25% body fat. That is my goal. So if you wanna watch, I'm doing a daily vlog right now. We're stuck inside, kind of self-quarantining for the uh, coronavirus pandemic that's going on. And I figured I would do a vlog. So it's more like family stuff. It's not really all keto stuff, but I throw keto stuff in there. So if you're interested in following me, I'm trying to work out every day and I'm gonna to try to get my body fat percentage down by 10% from 35 to 25. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoy my channel. If you do, please subscribe. And if you like the video, hit the like button and I will see you again soon, tomorrow. Mm -hmm.